Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy brother and your everyone's favorite YouTuber. <coughs> Sorry, wrong intro. What's up my fellow clout givers? Remember Mythical? That guy? I don't blame you if you don't. You can't even find his channel if you search up his name. But anyways, you probably haven't seen these videos yet. Go watch them. But if you already did, welcome to the aftermath. Mythical is dead. He got bullied out of my server because he's a weirdo that calls everybody a pedophile. And then he cried sexual harassment. He belittled Psycho being jobless and broke when he literally cannot play baseball. But don't worry guys, it's just his sense of humor. He doesn't actually mean it. Except when he does. Which is all the time. Especially in my server. Okay, enough shitposting for now. What has happened since me and Psyche have made these two videos on him? Well, he got kicked out of his friend group. That's pretty cool. Then he proceeded to call everybody involved in that group fake because that's a totally reasonable conclusion to make when you were criticized and ostracized for doing some incredibly awful stuff. What incredibly awful stuff, you may ask? Let's get into it. First of all, Mythical was planning on making some really terrible allegations towards me and Psycho, comparing us both to the likes of I'm Alex and labeling us as abusers. Now, for the sake of anonymity and protection of anyone else involved, I will not be mentioning certain people or what even happens because literally everybody involved has agreed that our situation was always meant to be private and it should never get out there. Mythical, however, disagrees because boundaries are just meant to be broken, you know? Mythical is a moral person, remember? that. Now, in light of Mythical planning on spreading these allegations, as soon as one of the people involved got reached out to in light of these allegations, they were not happy. And so, it quickly devolved into literally every single one of Mythical's friends and fellow content creators ostracizing him from his friend group. But our drama with Mythical is not the only reason that he was ostracized. See, another allegation popped up that Mythical has animal gore in his files. And as a former friend of Mythical, I can confirm that to be the case. Obviously, I don't have this recorded, for obvious reasons. I'm not a weirdo that records everything. However, one night when Mythical was in VC in my server, he had his virtual camera set up on OBS and he streamed it on Discord. One of the videos he played was the landing of an airplane where a deer got caught into one of its turbines and got absolutely shredded into red mist. I can absolutely confirm that this happened, as well as other people that were in the VC that night. And the people behind Yugang can also confirm that he has animal gore, because multiple people in that group have testified that he also has animal beheadings in his files. Bro even tried justifying it at one point that the animal beheading was apparently educational. <laughs> Okay, buddy. So not only is this guy a weirdo that has the habit of calling everybody he doesn't like a pedophile and cries sexual harassment when he gets clapped back at, but this dude's got animal gore on his computer. So sad. So sad indeed. Oh, and another thing that's been brought to my attention. Apparently Mythical was spreading around Rev Says Desu's docs in people's DMs. That's kinda not cool. Like, I get it. Rev Says Desu defends Lolicon and he's a massive weirdo, but that doesn't mean you should go around spreading his docs. Oh, and speaking of doxing people, this isn't the first time he's even talked about doxing someone. I don't have this recorded either, but when I was in a few group chats with Mythical and Wailing Gecko, Mythical has said that he would go as far as to dox people people like Sean the Legend, and this other guy on Twitter he had beef with named Andrew Graves. He has told Ace Howler that he was just joking, but considering the fact he was spreading an actual dox of another YouTuber, all I'm gonna say is they most likely were not jokes if he was willing to stoop this low. Oh, and by the way, when Ace Howler confronted Mythical about spreading Rev Says Desu's dox, Mythical tried saying at first that he didn't remember doing that, then when Ace pulls up receipts, Mythical just excuses it like, He's a pedophile anyway. Like, come on, dude. You're not even trying to hide the fact you're being disingenuous. Now, while I was in the process of making this script, Psychonautic Therapy has made his own video on the aftermath that has a lot more details on this situation, as well as actual video evidence of Mythical trying to justify his actions. Whether it be making false allegations towards me and Psycho, or the animal gore he posted, it's all in there. But before I go, I just wanted to relate to Mythical one more thing. You are perhaps the most spineless person I've ever met. Not only have you stooped to the lows of spreading around a dox, spreading animal gore, even going as far as to lie about it, as well as threatening to make allegations towards us on several occasions, but this was all after you cried sexual harassment because my server members clapped back at you because of your bad behavior, and the fact that when you were asked to have a debate with us, you backed out. And you still have the audacity to say that everyone you've harbored around with were just fake people all along? You sound so out of touch with reality, dude. Yugang did not like how you were acting. Whether it be in regards to us, or in regards to the private drama that you had with them, you got ostracized because what you were doing was bad. And you can't cope with that. 
Listen man, no amount of binge watching Chainsaw Man or Jujutsu Kaisen is going to magically fix everything. You've done this to yourself. You are not him, this is not another common mythical W, this is a massive mythical L. You've just about ended your own career at this point, which is me being generous considering the fact that you're a shorts YouTuber that likes to go skibbity bop bop every 5 seconds. What a weird flex dude, mythical the type of guy to hype up the skibbity toilet movie being made by Michael Bay, like what a weirdo. Anyways, go watch Psycho's video on the situation, he has video proof of what Mythical has done, and he goes into more detail on the situation. I kinda wanted to just take another jab at Mythical because I pretty much just wanted to give him his own medicine. I won't lie to you, when I say that his video on Psycho really pissed me off. And it's mostly because he belittled his personal life without even knowing the full context on why Psycho is in that position. And yes, I am more pissed about that than I am with his allegations of sexual harassment. That's just funny. So anyways, I'm closing this video off now. Go watch Psycho's video. Ace Howler will be making one too, I'm pretty sure, so stay tuned for that. One more thing before I end off this video. I am finally in the process of rebranding my channel. The channel banner just recently got finished. I've got everything ready in order to finally rebrand. Once that's done, I plan on streaming a lot more frequently, and I also have a huge video in the works right now. So yes, I am finally rebranding, which means say goodbye to Brother Near 2.0 and say hello to Netherless. I will see you all in the next video. I don't know what you're trying to pull behind the scenes, but all I'm going to say is that I know way too much. So don't tread on me and I won't tread on you. Your choice though. Have a good day. Not gonna respond. Must be because I'm actually right. This shit just shows how immature you are. Also a waste of my time. If you plan on making the drama public, everyone in the group will be caught in the crossfire. And I will leak every immoral thing you losers have also done. Things that's arguably worse than what I've ever done. That's not a threat by the way. It's a promise. Balls in your court. Make the right decision and move on like an adult. Seeing the commentary community moral grandstanding about old things is just hilarious. A lot of them are just hypocrites or a lot worse. I wonder how they will react if I leaked every disgusting thing that they have ever done that the public doesn't know yet. I know too much. Funniest thing is that their attempt to end me isn't even working. I haven't lost anything, only gained. We living good. If I ever see that pedo looking prick IRL, it's on sight. I said what I needed to say and you didn't fucking listen, actual prick. I hope this retard knows that I got a lot of IRL stuff going on right now, like moving into my own apartment and shit. I don't got time with beefing a desperate femboy, nor that I care about the drama. I said what I needed to say, and I'm leaving it at that. Karma will catch up to him soon, and to all the near dick riders spying on the server, send that to him. Thanks, I know who you all are anyways.